afternoon, everybody. Um, we're doing our first Facebook Live tour of the summer. Mm. We're in Pomfret Hall right now. My name is Courtney Soulsby. I'm a junior here at the University of Arkansas. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys around today. We have Channing behind the camera. If you want to meet her. Yes. Hi guys, my name is Channing and I'll be behind the camera today. Um, I am a senior here on campus and I'm a communication major. Um, and I'm from Springdale, Arkansas, so if you have any questions about this area or about campus, feel free to ask questions today and we will answer those for you guys. And then we actually have our CRE here today too, if you want to introduce yourself. Hello everyone, I'm Keanu. I am a CRE, so coordinator for residence education. Every hall has a CRE associated with it. We are full-time professionals that live in the hall. We all have our master's degree. We're here to help the students. This will be my third year at the University of Arkansas. My first year, I work for Greek Housing, and then this my second year as the CRE of Pomfret Hall. Super excited to have mm -hmm. y'all here today. Mm -hmm. Yep, so if y'all have any questions. Hey, where's everybody from, you? too? Yeah, I'm from Bayville, so mm -hmm. we're both from Northwest Arkansas, so if you have any questions about the area, we can always help you with that. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm from Texas originally. Shout out to the Texas people. Yeah. <laughs> the majority of <laughs> our students. Okay, so um, as you can see right now, we're just in a normal room. We're in the B wing right now. We're actually in room 204 in B. So, yeah, this is what the living room look like. You have these nice lights on your desk. I forgot about those. Oh, yeah. Let's show this area. So, the residence hall that I lived in actually looked a lot like this too, and this was one of my favorite parts just because it's really nice. We're getting ready, and you have storage up there. So, yeah, if you have any questions, measurements, anything, just let us know. You can see through the window, this is our new residence hall. It's called Adohi. So, there's going to be a lot of students in this area, which is really awesome. Um, yeah, I'll be ready when you guys get here. We can lift the curtain there or something. Oh, yeah. Really nice. Yep. Um, Angie wants to know if B Hall has movable furniture. Yes. So all of this furniture is movable. These beds you can loft. So you can raise it up and keep storage under it if you prefer to do that. Um, these desks aren't movable. So these are going to stay in this location. But you can move your beds, obviously these chairs that come with it. Um, Actually, C and D, I think, are movable. Mm -hmm. B is fixed except for the beds. Right, yeah. So the beds are the only ones that you can move. This is going to stay here. This stays here. But you can move your bed if you want. And walk it, of course. Yeah. We're doing a little bit differently this way. That we're showing the hall first. We're showing the room first. And then we're going to go over and tour C and D after this, which are recently renovated. Yes. So we've been renovating this summer and it'll all be done by the time you guys get here, so that's really exciting. What's the size of the mattresses here in the uh, So the mattresses in here this, the B -wing. these are all twin beds. It's 78 by 36 by 25, that's what all of these are. So they are the same, both mattresses are the same. So that's nice. Um, and then, yeah. Brittany, yes, we will be going to D Hall today. Um, yeah. And Elaine wants to know if the bulletin board is movable. The bulletin boards? Oh, these, these are not movable. Um, I know a lot of people use them for decorations, which are actually really nice to have. Some people have headboards that might cover it. So whatever you prefer, but you can't take them out of the wall. They're in there. Yeah. Um, did you have the same thing in Reed? I did. So I lived in Reed Hall when I was a freshman, and we had these. I had one of those really tall headboards that I brought in, so you oh. couldn't even see it. But yeah, these are in most of the residence halls that I've seen. And these beds will loft considerably higher. Yes, so when I was in um, Reed, my bed was like this, and I lifted it up just enough to put like storage under it, so I had some drawers under there. Um, some people I've seen even with like bean bags, and they'll make it their own little like study area, so you can really do whatever you want with this. And yeah, and the ledge is always kind of nice too. I remember I kept putting up some stuff there. So. Um, we have a couple of people asking if we can take a look at a single room. Um, so a majority of the B, room, B rooms will be single, but we're going to keep both beds in them. So if you're in a single room, your room will still look the same as if you have a roommate. Awesome. 
Um, we have a couple measurements. Um, can you provide measurements of the floor space between beds and furniture? Mm -hmm. She's trying to figure out a rug size. Yes, definitely. This is a question we get a lot to you. Yeah. So, in between the bed. From the frame to the frame? Maybe? Yes, frame to frame. It's about 85. There we go. Yeah. I say 85. Okay. Um, and can you do an end room and measure the floor? Are the end rooms different? Are they different? They are different. Let me go check and see. I'm going to go check on, Nate, on okay. the end room. Can, she and go and can we measure this way when we're in here? Yes. Sorry. How far you this here? Yeah, just to there. So from the mirror cabinet area to the desk, it's about, I'd say, to be safe, like 91. And yes, Brian, we'll, we will be going to C Hall uh, later on. Yes, we're going to be going in B, C, and D. We're going to be right now. So that's what every room pretty much is going to look like. They said there's some that have some movable furniture, but yeah. And a lot of people I know bring um, curtains for your closet. So we recommend getting those tension rods. You can just get cheap ones at Walmart and hang a cute curtain there and decorate. Yeah, and there's a lot of outlets for everyone. You can see them on the deck. I know people love to decorate this area, but it's pretty, it's pretty cool setup. I like it. I it. And read too, so. And you each get your own set of drawers, which is really nice and convenient. Yeah. You can do 207. Okay. That's an end room we can look at. Okay, sounds good. Unless you have any more questions about this one. Um. Someone asked, what is a good place to put a mini fridge without lofting the bed? Um, so I know, in my situation, I did put it under my bed, but I know people often will get some and just make room like in between bed and wall, but mm -hmm. people also don't want to cover the air. So it just depends on what your preference is and like how big of a mini fridge you get. And a lot of people will put like their other utility stuff up on that ledge. Um, Angie asked, how big across is the space next to the window? Um, across? I actually think I have, I might have that one here. Basically the window seal? Is that what he's asking about? Yes. Probably, So, yeah. window on here is, um, it's 57 inches long, like this way. So that's what this is going to be as well. And then if you want to know the depth of this ledge, see in the back. Yeah, it's about 14 inches. Yeah. So that's nice. Shall we go check out the uh, inner room? Yes. Okay. So is this a single or, or is it just an inner or not above? They're all actually the same in terms of configuration. Right. It's just that I think someone had a very specific question about. Oh, about my inner room. So inner rooms are basically exactly the same, but with a couple more inches maybe. That's space. Let me put this line on for you guys, sorry. Yeah. This is 207. 207. Yeah, so pretty similar. Yeah, all the furniture is the same. But this is an in room, just in case. Um, Jaden asked, how long are the beds? In here, um, it's the same. So it's going to be 78 inches long by 36. saying about in rooms? Yes, so we have, I'm going to take y'all to also what an in room would be in the center of the hall. It look a little different. Yeah, someone asked about that just now. So we're entering 208. So if you're 208, this is your room. So they're set up a little bit different. So 
Any measurement questions we have? Um, we have someone say they thought the windows by the window were twin extra large. I think she meant the, oh, the beds. beds. Yeah. I think that they're all in here. They should be both just regular twin. And the one that we measured was right, so it's 78. Um, Brad wants to know if you have the length, width, and the height of the mattress. Um, let's go ahead and do the height. And B wing is going to be different than C and D slightly. So height is about five, five and a half, but it should be it's the same. So it's seventy eight long, thirty six wide, and then about five six thick. So and they'll all be the same. Yep. And all those measurements are also online. So if you forget. They're all on the housing website, which is housing.uark.edu. And you can just go find your specific residence hall, and there's a lot of measurements on there for you guys. Angie asked, how will we know how the room will be set up? So when you move in, there'll be like this. If you're in an in room or how you just saw in the rooms that we were in, um, they'll be set up like that when you move in. And like we said, the desks and like this area isn't movable, but if you wanted to adjust your bed, you can always do that. But that's what it'll look like when you get here. So you decorate. Um, Donnie asked, if you're in the single room, can the other bed be removed? No, we just don't have a space to put them. So you have both furniture, or both beds in the room still. Awesome. Uh, do you want to look at the bathroom? Yes, okay, let's go look at the bathrooms. So this is a co-ed residence hall so each floor is going to be either male or female and it holds 803 students so that's pretty awesome it's a lot okay we're going to go in this bathroom so on my left this is just sinks big mirror for getting ready for whatever you want and outlets and this is where all the stalls are and then over here are the showers this is the shower. There's like a little area for you. Go in there and let me see it all. Yeah. Okay. It's nice to have that little yes. like area Super outside nice. of it. I remember for me though, tip: everyone gets those um, shower caddies, mm -hmm. and it makes life. <laughs> a lot easier. <laughs> so, yeah. So we can go out to the common area, I think. Yes. And this is why we're wearing the hard hats, is because there's construction going on. Yes. So they're still working on it right now, but almost there. So the area that we're going to is called the Great Room, and it's really awesome. You'll see it's huge, and there's really good lighting in there, and that's just like a big hangout for kids, pretty much, so. Going up. You'll get to see that. So we're leaving B-Wing, going this way. This way? This way. Okay. There's a water. Oh, yeah. Here. So these are actually really nice. It shows you, like, how many bottles saved, so it people just bring their own bottles. Like reusable bottles, say plastic. Pretty awesome. I'll show the laundry too. Yeah. So this is the laundry room in B. Oh, oh wait, this is bending. Sorry. So this is good. And then it's we'll bending. go. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. So it's kind of loud in here, but you have an ice machine, which is awesome, and vending machines, which I use quite a bit. It takes Apple Pay too, I think. So you can just pay with your phone if you want. Um, As you can see, we have the um, fob systems for security, which are really nice. Um, if you live here, you'll have a fob. And then this is the laundry room. So we have um, actually an app called Laundry Alert on campus here. And it's super convenient because if you know a lot of people are in here and you don't want to have to come down and see if anything's available, you can just check the app and it'll tell you availability and um, you can actually put in, that's why there's numbers on here, so you can put in which one you're using and you'll get an alert whenever your stuff is done. So that's really nice. 
And there's a little TV if you want to study and hang out while you're waiting on your laundry. Now, I always tell people to find like a good time of day. Cause, <laughs> like, I lived in Reed, which is an all girls dorm, and it's really hard to find a good time to do your laundry, but you'll find a time like when people are all in class or something, and just stick with that. <laughs> so <that's crazy. laughs> Um, Lindy wants to know, are the students responsible for cleaning the bathroom area? No. So we do, those are cleaned um, by staff, but daily. yeah, every daily. day, which is really nice to not have to do. Yeah, we have really hardworking um, um, institutional service uh, assessment ISAs who um, clean it for you. Yeah. Yes. That's really nice. Right. We always like when you don't give too much of a job. To yeah, <laughs> that's, that's true. Be respectful. Where's everybody from who's listening? I think there's quite a few people who are tuned in. We have 68. 68 68 people people tuned in. Yeah, I want to know. I always think it's interesting to see where people are from. There's so many people. Yeah. Anything else in B we should show? Or is that a pretty good overview? That was a good overview. This is an exit outside B. A lot of students will use this. If if I was going out the exit and went to my left, you went, what road is this? Uh, stadium. stadium. You'll yes. be on Stadium, and there is a bus stop there. Poffer Express is a popular bus. It will take you straight from Poffer up to the Union. Um, again, also like with the new Adohi out here, as soon as you walk out, you'll be able to see Adohi as well. Yeah. Um, we had a question about the laundry room. Okay. Um, do the washing machines require um, HE detergent detergents? Um, I think that... I know it's on the wall, but I always use pods just because it's super easy. Um, That's what we highly recommend. Yeah. Is pods. yeah. And, and they don't, you don't have to put any coinage in them because it's already covered right. by your housing fees. It's free. Yeah, it's covered. You don't have to bring quarters. So that's nice. Uh, so we're going to the gray room right now. Everyone that lives in Concord. And um, Christy, you can choose to loft the bed yourself, or you can submit a request to fix it. Yes. That's up to you. So the website for that is housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it. You can go on there and request to have your bed lofted so they can do it for you. That's also where you'll go just if you're having any pro- a light bulb goes out or something. That's where you would go to request to get that fixed. Yes. This big room is the great room. Yes. That's what we were talking about. Pretty awesome. So they're still doing work in here right now, but this is going to have tons of furniture, TVs, everybody likes to hang out in here. Um, and then location-wise, you can kind of see here, you're right on like Fraternity Road, you've got um, Gruff is just right up that hill, but you don't really need it because you have um, a nice yes. area in here. What used to be known as the Pomfreteria. Yes. Yes. So we're actually coming back on August 7th, I believe. Yes, August 7th we're going to come back because this will be done and we can look. We're going to get a better look at this. Dining's going to look so different this year compared to the way it was before, so we're excited to show it to you. Um, Over here to the right, I'll point out that there's construction happening here. Um, This will ultimately be a stepped kind of uh, common gathering area. Like a mini amphitheater. Yeah. We're super excited for some outside events. Yeah. That'll be fun. And yep. then this like residence hall, one of the things that it's greatest for is its location because you're right by Bud Walton is literally right there, the stadium. Everything's walking distance, so that's really convenient. Hyper, very close yes, to. The hyper. The hyper has like a gym, a pool, a lot of things that are available to all students here. So that's really nice to be close to because that's a great place to just go and hang out or work out. You have a new office, right? Yes, over here yeah. under the staircase will be my office. Also, I did not for, I forgot to mention, I also supervise the RA, so each floor will have at least one RA. Some will have two. But my office, if the residents ever need me or might need to see me, is located over here. I will also, ha- we will have a counselor in residence, which is also super exciting. And they can find us under the staircase. <laughs> <laughs> what is counselor in residence? It's uh. But sort of a, um, it's a, a mental health practitioner yes. who's here to talk to you if you have issues with homework or things at home. That, yes. Yeah, so we've got those services available. 
Margaret says, this renovation of Pomfret is amazing. Great job. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and where it is now here on August, uh, or I'm sorry, on July 15th, just tune in August uh, 7th when we do it again. Yes. And you're going to see it even further. Yes. Yeah, that's really awesome. Over here is actually a little kitchen area that they're working on. So you can see what they've got so far. It's going to be really cute. But yeah, that'll be nice to have. I know um, a lot of people always will like bake cookies with their friends or if you just don't want to go to the um, dining hall, people will just make snacks in there, make some muffins. <laughs> we'll have pots and pans residents can check out the front desk so they can pick out whatever they need to bake or cook, come down, cook, clean, and then bring those items back to the front yeah. desk. I did that a lot. <laughs> and then, what's this going to be? This is going to be our TV room. We'll have a brand new TV in here. Just a space. People can watch TV, hang out. It's actually connected to the kitchen, so you can walk in between spaces. That's awesome. Cool. And then right next to that, we'll have I our... I there's a big TV going in there. There is a big TV. I don't know the dimensions. It's 85 inches. 85 inches. 85. Is it 85? Is yes, that right? yes. Okay. That's awesome. This is our music room. We'll have a piano in here, but so students that are interested in practicing or maybe playing the piano, they can hang out in here. Yeah. Mm. There's a lot of good stuff in the great room. Yes, there is. We have a lot of uh, Texas watchers in here. Yeah, so nice. what cities? We have Austin, Plano, Dallas. Um, a lot of places. Hello. Hey, Texas. Hello, Texas. We're used to having Texas. Should we go for the for any reason? I can't remember. So as you can see, we're working on this right now, but it's going to be good. So we're going in. This is D. Going down to D. Yeah, so we D started in D. This is D. Um. D is unfinished in the sense that furniture hasn't, ar hasn't arrived yet. But the furniture's coming very soon. Yeah. Vending in the middle of the hall. <laughs> Vending machines are nice. I'm telling you, I use it all the time. And then we also have Small Mart on our campus, which is something that's really unique to us. It's like a mini miniature Walmart. And it's really close, so if you ever just want to go grab a snack or drinks or anything, that's super convenient. I go there all the time. So that's the place. So this is the first time people are seeing recently renovated D. Yes. Yes. Right. So this we're, we're in D right way. now. This is D. You can see it's really bright, and there's accent walls, but. Got a good view above the wall. Yeah, it's that's right, awesome. It's right there. Yeah. You see Bud Walton and the truck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's our track and field. Yes. If you have resident reserve for parking, this is the parking lot right outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a nice wooden floor, too. Yeah, it's yeah, a nice floor. floor. And so we're currently on D2. As you see, we were walking, but when we walk over, we'll be on C1. So. D2 and C1 are on the same level. And C has furniture in it, so what we see over there will do the exact same thing over here. Yes, it'll be here soon. Probably the next week or so. So now we're going to go to C. Let's go ahead and hit the laundry over here, too, if you don't mind, Courtney. Oh, is we go, we'll go ahead No, we'll go straight through here. Oh, okay. And then we'll just go down the stairs to look at the laundry down there. So we can see what, that's where C and D do that. Yeah, right. yeah. This so is we also our D2 lobby. Um, usually there'll be couches and furniture in here, so also residents might hang out in here. Um, usually at night, you can see them doing homework. There's a lot of common areas here. There's, yeah. there's a lot of space. How would you describe the, the, the culture, the vibe of the Um It's so funny because we're so big, but I think because we are community style, it feels like we see everyone all the time. Um, you'll be familiar with everyone. I'm excited with the great room just because you're constantly going to see people um, in those common areas. Uh, we have our own dining hall, so it's basically, mm -hmm. you know, you basically live with each other. <laughs> <laughs> so big, but big, but together. Yes. Um, we're passing up to the left. This will be a print station, so you'll actually be able to print papers. Um, or any classwork that you're working on. And then in front of it, you got a print number? 
This will be um, a new study space. And you can kind of see that it's kind of private in its own glass. Yeah. And that's brand new in the hall. We've never had a printing station, have we, before? We have one, but this is going to be extra yes. magnified. And then that's the. This is our courtyard between C and D. They're currently working on the pavement, but it's a nice space. People do love those hammocks. I imagine there's oh, a, yes. a hammock that goes up from time to time. Yes, people are always hammocking on hammocks. And this will be the like private study space. Nice. Super exciting. Mm -hmm. um, we just got asked if all the furniture is movable in the D wing. It, it is. C above. and D, yes. yes. Okay. B, no. C and D, yes. We're about to go see what that furniture will look like. I'm going to go down and show the laundry. What year are you now? I'm going to start my junior year this year. Junior year? All right. So weird. It goes by incredibly fast. Yes, it does. What, uh, what is one piece of wisdom you might pass on to an incoming freshman? I'd say figure out your study methods early on because mm -hmm. it's definitely different than high school, but you get used to it. You get like the flow of things and how everybody studies in their own way. And, I just, it took me a minute to adjust from high school to college, but once you get it, it's, it's super easy. So do that early on. But this is the other laundry room. Also has laundry alert. So C and D wing share laundry room, and this is their laundry room. The bigger machines you see, that's for our facilities use. The students will use these normal ones, like the ones that you saw in D wing. And then there's an ice machine in here too. Oh, yeah, so. an ice machine. There's also one in the B Wing um, vending machine. Yeah. Um, Christy said, is it free to use the printer? Um, yes, in the. Do you know the print service? Okay, yes. Are? So I think that it, you have like a certain amount mm -hmm. that you just cut, like you, you're already paying for. Part of your for student it. fees. It's part of your student fees, so it's covered. And um, you don't have to like pay on the spot so you'll have I've never I print all the time and I've mm -hmm. never used beyond what they give you so it's a pretty generous amount you can we can link to it in the notes after this show we'll link to where you go to learn about how much you can print yeah it's also super convenient to have that in your residence hall because um, that way you don't have to like walk to the library but you can print in the library if you choose to do that um, Christy also asked, uh, where do they empty their trash? Are there trash bins in here? Yes, we have trash bins. Um, we can show you on ceiling if it's open. Yeah. But each floor has a trash chute. Um, so basically it's a room, you put your trash in, and it goes down, and our awesome ISAs take it out every day. And then Pomfret, we also have our own large dumpster in our back parking lot, so if the trash rooms are ever full, or like pizza boxes can't go down the trash chute because they'll clog it up, um, you just take it down back there. So do you want to tell them about what this area is going to be? Yes, yeah, so this is super exciting. Um, you'll see this will be our front desk. You'll be able to check out equipment, um, get packages. We have our mail room to the right. So eventually you'll have a assigned mailbox and they'll be here. And so you can check your mail, letters. And such. Yes. Also, you get an email, um, by the way, if you have a package, which was nice because it doesn't just sit down there. So you'll know when they have a package for you. And then you can just come down here and pick it up. So that's where it's going to be. The newest addition of Pomfret everyone's talking about is our late night venue. It's going to be barbecue themed, but it will also be located right past our front desk. Um, they'll have a meal trade option, so at night, if you're hungry, you can use that here. So that's super exciting. We're ready for it. Do you like barbecue? I love barbecue. <laughs> I like barbecue, too. Yeah, so meal trade, um, this is also a really good spot for that because right up the hill, it's Slim's, where the Walgreens are, a lot of different places that you can use meal trade at night. That was one of my favorite things. How do meal trades work? Do you so mind explaining? So on your, like, meal card at night, there's a certain time frame where instead of just going to, like, where you a normal dining hall that you would eat in, you can go to the restaurants on campus, and there's certain ones, and you just use a meal swipe, and you get to eat there. 
I went to Slim's way too much. But I know. <laughs> yeah. And there's Fine Burrito in the Union. Mm -hmm. We just redid the Union's um, dining area, so it's really awesome. But yeah, and there's also a Starbucks up there, which is a really popular study spot on campus. Yeah. So that's nice to be close to. And this is C. Yes. This is the C wing. Over to the right. yeah. We're on C1 again right now because of construction. Usually there'll be a fob access, so you have to use your fob to enter the wing. Is anybody living in C by any chance? Because if so, we might look at your room. Um, Christy wants to know what floors are for boys and girls in D wing. So D wing right now, our fourth floor is going to be our all female floor. Um, D3 and D2 are going to be co ed with. D2 is our ROTC LLC learning community, um, and then D1 is all males. That's but cool. it may slightly change before moving yes. day hits, because okay. we tend to keep those spaces kind of um, flexible, because we never know how many boys and how many girls we're going to Correct. Have. Right. Okay. So this is C127. And this is the Starbucks that we mean by movable furniture. So these, you have your desks and all of this really awesome storage storage space. And this is what the furniture is going to look like in D, correct? Correct. Yeah. And then this is a great example of lofting your bed. So if anyone wants to do this, um, you can see there's a lot of room for storage yes. over there. This is the yeah. high, well, almost the highest, right? Yes, there's only, I think, one notch above this. So this is the second, or one or two. So yeah. You can easily put your desk down there. Yes. Oh yeah, a lot of people will do that. I've also I've even seen people put move both of their desks under and put like a sitting area. Yeah, like a food corner or something. Yeah. Like so you can always put stuff here if you choose to move your desk. And then all of this is movable, so really whatever like format works best for you, you can do in here, which is really nice. Would you open up the wardrobe for yeah. me? Let me see what's in there. Yep. So you can shoot one of these. And then I know a lot of people also, you have room up here if you want to get any like storage for that. Somebody asked for the desk length and height. You measure two desks together. Yes. So let's just do them separate. Let's do yeah, one. Yeah, I think that's best. You can just multiply it times two. And get to that. Right. So this is 36, 36 inches. And then. Am I getting all the dimensions? So, um, I guess the length and then the depth. Yeah. There. And I think this is on the website too, but just mm -hmm. so you This know. is 24 and a half. 24 and a half, and then height. Height. I don't know what I'm already. Yeah. What was it? 30. 30. 30. Okay. Yes. You can also bring a lock, and so this top desk, you can lock if there was anything yes. you wanted to keep. So it's 36 wide. 34 deep and 30 high. That's what these are. Can you show them how the lock works? I've gotten that question before. They go and tie on and show them. Um, yeah. Something. So you have to bring your own mm -hmm. lock and it would just be stuck like that. So it's always a good option. Um, Kathy wants to know the width of the dresser. So, wardrobe is 36 wide and 24 deep, and then 72 high. So, yeah. So, it's 36, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm short. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're doing the height? Yes. Okay, I'll that. Thank you. Yeah, about 70, 70. Mm -hmm. And then, this direction. Oh, it's 20, four and a half. Yeah. Which is, I think what we have there? Yes. And they also want to know the width of, of this right here. Okay. The dressers? Yes. Mm -hmm. Individually. These are three door dressers. Yes. So this is 30. 30 wide. 24 and a half deep. And then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. About 30 tall. And you each get your own three drawers. 
Yeah. Um, Brian wants to know if there's a mirror in the room. I don't. There's not. Think there is. But um, a lot of people will bring them and actually put it on the inside here. Like there's a hook. Um, so that's always a good spot if you want to bring your own. And then there's a big one in the bathroom, so you can always use that too. I've also seen people put in there, like, there's a perfect little space right here. Yeah, yeah. Like, your full body. That's a good spot. Mm -hmm. And then every room does have this, like, cable option, so if you wanted to bring a TV and put it here, the remote comes with, and this is just your setup, so you can bring a TV and do that. You've got HBO yeah. on all the digital cable channels. Yeah, so that's nice. You want to show the chair trick? Oh gosh. You want the chair trick? Yeah, I'm kind of bad at this, but these chairs are really cool because you can turn it into like a gaming chair or like a smaller chair. There's a hook somewhere in this room here, yeah. Look at you, like a pro. Like a pro. That was nice. And then it's like no? no? Really? No, show me that. <laughs> That's cool. awesome. That you can fun. even use that as like a little yeah. table with it if you want. So that's always fun. People definitely use that for. Yeah, I'll take it off screen and do yeah. it. Yeah, we'll fix that later. It's not difficult, though. No, um, it's really easy. Chris? Yeah, that's, that's right. Oh. Is that right? I think it's this one. Then you flip it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Christy asked if we can measure the, from the highest lofted bed to the ceiling. Um, yeah. I need so, some help. So, over here... We do this one and go straight up. From mattress top to ceiling, it's 35. 35 inches. Yes. Yeah. But that's always adjustable if you, depending on where you decide to put your bed at. So you can actually see here, you can come get an angle of this. There's notches and you just basically move this to whichever notch works best for you. And you can do that on the website or if rubber mallets work well, but yeah, that um, was a good option. Do you need to bring a trash can? Um, I believe yes. you do. Yes, you need to bring a trash can. The reason we have these in here is because uh, we have campers and right. in the summer we, we, yeah. we provide this for campers. Um, Christy wants to know the distance from the top of the wardrobe to the ceiling as well. Okay. It's 25. 25, 25 inches. inches. Yes. Um, Sophie asked what size are their beds. I think they're standard twin. Yes. yes. So these are standard twin. Um, actually, let's just make sure that they're the same. Okay. Yeah, there's two different sizes. There's a window size and a door size. The door size is going to be smaller than the window size. Okay. So this should be about a 78. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. 78 and 74. And um, the way the decision is made is for you and your roommate to decide when you get here. Yeah. Who gets the window side, who gets the door side. And then door side is going to be um, 38 wide and... The other one's 36, maybe it's, that one's going to be 36, this is going to be 38 wide, but, yes. Um, Renee asked for the measurement um, between the wardrobe and the bed on the window side. Okay. See? It's about 28 inches. 27 if you're going to, like, the outside, like, where the frame starts. 26 over 26 and a half. So to be safe, I'd say 26, if you're wanting to put something in between here that'll fit, which people do. Like, I brought a big beanbag chair in my room. So, whatever, whatever you want, but 
Megan asks if all of the D-wing rooms have the yellow accent wall. They do. So, yes. There's a gray, grayish blue one, yeah. Yeah. Um, someone asked for the distance from the top of the desk to the ceiling. Okay. if they're going to be putting bookshelves over the desk area. And these, I think this is all the furniture that's going to be coming in these rooms. Yeah, full package. Yes. So this is, this is exactly what it's going to be like when you move in. Yeah. Um, Amy asked if you could measure 36 inches up from the bottom of the bed, please. So like this way. 36 is going to hit about... So that'd be, if you're going by like the notches, six notches up would be about 36, 36 inches on the ground. Yep. Anything else? There's a lot of good questions. Yeah. Thank you for your questions. Yeah. Um, Angie asks if there's a weight limit of the beds if they are lofted up high. I don't think so. I've not heard of a weight limit to mm -hmm. the beds. But we also have, um, you know, the manufacturer's details. So if that's a concern or an issue, just email us at housing at uart.edu, and we can we can find that specific um, information for you. Yes. We have a couple of requests to see a corner room. Um, Where would a corner room be? I guess in the corner. <laughs> okay. Let me go. Let me just go check to make sure. Well, we can come on down. Okay. We may see something we don't know about. <laughs> Is this the bathroom for this yes. place? Yeah. Okay. You want to show them the bathroom yeah. while we go look at the corner room? So let's go just make sure. <laughs> so this is what the bathrooms are going to look like. Thanks. It's always funny because you'll make friends. Like, I remember you find out who has the same schedules as you, so you'll be like brushing your teeth next to <laughs> the same person every day. And here's a shower. You can show them that. Two stalls. Oh, nice. Yes. Be nice. Um, but yeah. It's good lighting in here. There is really good lighting. Yep. Four sinks. How many showers were there? Two? Um, I think so. Yes, two showers in here. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Did they go this way? Yeah. Any other questions? Um, Christy asks, co-ed floors will not share bathrooms, right? Right. I believe the whole floor is either going to be male or female, right? Um, they wouldn't share the work on, on the floors in Pomfret? Is it like half, but the but the door closes? Is that how it works? Or um, is yes, it all one so floor like down? this would be like all males, and so they would share the bathroom in this little corner area where that might be all females, and they're sharing that bathroom. Yeah, so it won't be like... Bathroom. No, no, That's no what they were asking. Yeah, absolutely no problem. Yeah. Bathrooms. And then and there's there's water here too. The filming station, just like the other ones we saw. So that should be on every floor. We'll go to C116. That's okay. a corner room and the hall okay. room. There's another bathroom. To your future crib. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how this type of room will be set up when you move in. Yeah. And I think the measurements on these beds, it might be that they're similar. Do we want to? Yeah. Do sure. a quick lick and see. Definitely. That's a 78. That's 
Yeah. And this will be a 78. So if you're in here, then the beds I think are the same way. This is also a, yeah, not a 78. So in rooms, both, both mattresses will be 78 inches long. Do we want to just measure that little area? Yeah. Yeah, like the window area? Yeah. yeah, Grace was asking about the window measurements. Okay. Okay, so this. So. Yeah, and this will be about 54 inches long. And then. I can get up under here. It's 25 inches deep. My air conditioning's run, it's nice and cool. Yeah. Really yeah. Good. <laughs> Um, Christy wants to know if you could measure the desk cubby opening. Ah, like where the chair is? Right like this, right? Oh. Yes. So this is, it's nine inches tall. And then it looks the same. It's about nine inches? Yeah, nine by okay. nine. And then the individual boxes? These. Um, well, you, did you measure? Oh no, you measured the box. Yeah, yeah. so these would each be nine by nine. Wasn't that convenient? <laughs> <laughs> Megan asked, which side is side A and which is side B? Side A and side B are you? You know, Courtney. Yeah. So basically, when you come in, you'll you and your roommate will like distinguish who's A and who's B, and you just have to stick with that throughout the year because as far as like in case someone gets damages or something gets messed up in your A, um, we just want to make sure that that's your side. So I think you can just discuss between you, just clarify who's who. So no charges will be to the wrong people. So yeah, it doesn't, A and B doesn't belong to the room. It's sort of a decision that you make yeah. together. You just kind of figure that out between you and your roommate. Um, Tiana wants to know the measurement of the space from bed to bed. So something like this. It's almost eighty. Almost eighty inches. Eighty inches. Between beds. And um Philip wants to know the measurement between those two desks. Oh, between the desks? Yes. Like this gap? Yes. So these are movable, but yeah. If you have it okay, so say they're both up against the bed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you both had yours up against your bed, there'd be 14 inches in between. But again, you can adjust that however you prefer. Sophie wants to know if there's a thermostat in the room. Yes, it's above the door. <laughs> Here but it is. Each room will have a thermostat. A heating layer in some Sweet. Place. It's all old building. Old building? Mm. Yes, yeah, so we're, is it called one trigger? One, perhaps. Um, so like right now, obviously it's summer, so we're in the AC, so you cannot turn your heat on. And then there's a certain day, um, you know, usually when it's probably cold for at least a few weeks, then we'll turn the heat on, and so when the heat's on, you won't be able to turn your AC on. A few of our housing facilities are like this. Older, yeah. grand old buildings like this. Yes. <laughs> and. Um, it is good to be aware that on a very hot day, during um, cold weather and during very cold days during hot weather, when it's unseasonable, the temperature is unseasonable, you may be slightly uncomfortable. Yes, Arkansas is interesting <laughs> weather. Mm -hmm. You never know what you're going to get. But yeah, a lot of people like will bring their own little fans maybe if you like to sleep with that or that stuff. So for the most part though. Um, so people are, were wondering the difference between the furniture in B versus C and D. So B is not movable furniture. C and D both are. B is kind of what we just looked at, wooden furniture. Mm -hmm. um, if you look back earlier in the video, you'll see what that looks like. It looks very different than yeah. this. So if you're like just out tuning in, you can go, the first room that we went in was in the B wing, and we showed you what that setup's going to look like. So it's basically just built in, but, and then this is what the furniture will be in the other two. Allison wants to know if there's a difference between between an end room and a corner room. Well, this is different than a corner room. This is an end room. Yes, this is the end room. Uh, 
a corner room? Corner room is extended, I think. We can go yeah, look at one. Just to make sure. So this is a this is an in room, just to be just to be clear. And then corner rooms are just they're going to be set up like all the other ones. But we'll just take a chance. Go left or right. You and people, so that's. That's See who's coming. This is one fifteen. We both kind of move, but it's set up the same. Okay. Yeah. If anything, corner rooms are always the same, but maybe a couple inches like wider or something. They're always super similar. So, any other questions? I think that is all the questions. So, well, How awesome is that? yeah, y'all can always remember, you can always come back and comment questions after the fact, and I'll be sure to go through and answer those for you guys. But, and yeah. so if you just tuned in, a reminder, we first looked at a B room, which looks very different than we just were in a D room. And then we did go into a C room and a D room, but C and D um, look a very common. Mirror images of each other. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, so you're going to be the CRE here. Yes, I'm this super excited for moving. So Great group of here, RAs. You'll, you'll run into him at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> and so you'll work with a team of RAs and you'll just get to know everybody, huh? Yes. He is a great CRE. <laughs> you're lucky to be living here. Yeah, you can always come ask him questions, too. You know where his office is now. <laughs> so. But we're glad you, you guys all tuned in. This is our first one, so it's really exciting. Um, our schedule's up on our website for our other live tours, if you want to tune in to any of those. But Move any, in. Any, Move any, in. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any, any advice you want to give the new students? Advice? Just excited to have y'all. Um, you just saw like how awesome it looks, but obviously when you move in, it's going to look totally different. Super excited for this year. Um, your RAs, we're here as a resource. Um, use us. Again, just excited for moving. What's yeah. the, we'll be looking at the new dining facility, which we're super excited for. Yeah. Yes, August 7th. You want to look at that. I don't know if any alumni of Pomfret are tuning in, but you can see how much this hall has changed uh, mm, yeah. over the years. My mom lived in Pomfret. She did? <laughs> yeah, she did. Um, when I worked in Greek housing, one of the alumni there, he just said, he went to school here, and he said he remembered Pomfret dining was the first hall females and males could eat at together, so that they were super excited when Aww. it opened, because the guys and girls got to eat a meal together. That's fun. <laughs> Does it say the year that the built hall was built on there? Yeah, so this was actually built or opened in 1967. So okay. that's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, we'll be doing more. I'm Courtney. Keanu. Yeah. Thank you guys. Woo pig. <laughs>